is March 2nd and I'm whispering because it's really early in the morning. 2019. How you guys doing? How you living? It is Saturday morning and I am getting some breakfast together uh, so I can eat while I'm editing last week's vlog. Yes, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm working on getting these vlogs to be a lot more um, often. I can't promise that they'll be here every week, but um, we are definitely working on it. I realized that I had a package. So let's just do a quick Amazon haul. I'm in love with Amazon. It is what it is. I think it's the best thing since sliced bread, in my opinion. What do y'all think? Do y'all have Amazon Prime account? Do you not? I love it. So um, I realized that all of my like meal prep containers um, are in storage. I do not have them. They're with the rest of my kitchen stuff. And so I was like, you know what? Let me go buy like a few of these meal prep containers um, so that I can do a little bit more meal prep. Meal prep has been very successful for me in the past um, in smaller quantities, like sort of like a five day by five day. I'll like meal prep from Monday through Friday and I'll kind of wing it on the weekends. Um, and uh, so yeah, I bought like a few of those. This is from the company, what company is this? Evolutionize evolutionize and this is their eat clean live clean meal prep containers this one has two compartments hey mama what you doing what you doing mama you making noise over there remind me to tell you guys the story this story about levi i meant to tell you guys last vlog but i didn't tell i didn't get to tell you guys um last vlog but i completely forgot the story of when levi ran away y'all he tried it so besides that i got two books i want to share with you guys you guys will see me go over these books on my other channel and the book is called the first one is called the road less traveled a new psychology of love traditional values and spiritual growth <clears throat> and this is by m scott peck have you read this book what do you guys think if you have it go ahead and pick it up i'll leave a link down below i got mine on, um, on amazon and then we'll go through this to together okay and then the next one is a very short read as you guys can see and um it's called the Tao of Pooh the Tao of Pooh and it's by Benjamin Hoff this one I feel is going to be a really good one um this is the same author that wrote um the T the Te of Pig of Piglet basically this author goes over um like Winnie the Pooh characters and basically kind of like what we can learn from them um yeah so yeah I'm really excited to read this one you guys I thought you guys would appreciate this <laughs> Wait, no, I can't. Why? What happened? my thing. Oh, okay. We'll just take the whole thing off, you guys. So, um, I had to get an, an employee health screening. And so, I don't know if you guys know this, but my sister and I work for the same hospital. We don't work the same campus, but same hospital. So Different locations. Different locations. Mm -hmm. So, I came and got my health screening here, and I decided to come and visit her. This is visit her me office. On the yes. Okay. It's her little cute office. Oh, there's a picture yeah. here. A little picture of me in the corner. Actually, <laughs> don't. Oh, okay. I know where that was when I used to live in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah, guys. So, from here, we're going to Whole Foods. But I just thought I, w I almost left. That's why I had my jacket on. But I was like, let me vlog really quick because I know hey, everybody guys, would appreciate it. Like, I'm sweating and tired because I've been at work all day and they've been stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're supposed to do. I don't know if I told you guys, but Alice got a promotion. I don't know. If you feel all on Instagram that you probably already know. So, she's she's big honcho in charge. That's why she got her little office here. You know what I mean? Yeah, same. But <laughs> she's doing the thing. So, if you guys have any... Um, questions about management for what for whatever reason I'm getting a lot of questions about that then you know hit Alice up I dream of Alice on Twitter and and Instagram and Snapchat and Snapchat and everything all over Out the internet what, let, let me let y'all know what day it is so I can't it is March 5th it's a Wednesday or is it a two what day is it it's a two it's a Tuesday y'all I'm so sorry I'm just if y'all see my makeup smudging or whatnot, I had to come on camera and show this. I got my hair, but I'm, I got it covered because I'm about to cook. Anyway, y'all, I just got, whew, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry. 
my battery's about to die. Okay, all right, y'all, why is she crazy? So I just got this in the mail. Isn't it? First of all, isn't it beautiful? Patricia, you got 15,000 million journals. How come you got another journal? So a friend of mine gave me this journal. She's my bridesmaid. She's one of my bridesmaids. I'm sorry. And so she got me a separate journal so that I can journal this experience of being engaged and getting married, becoming a wife, and then becoming a mother, my whole womanhood experience. <sighs> Sorry, the camera died, so I don't know where I left off, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the charger. But I'm glad it did because it gave me a second to collect myself, y'all. She gave me this journal so that I can journal this whole experience of um, being single, being engaged, to be married, getting married, becoming a wife, eventually becoming a mother, sorry, to, oh, I'm not going to do this, not today, this makeup looks too on point for me to cry, okay, <sighs> all right, to journal this experience, yes, I have 15,000 million journals, I have my spiritual journal, I got my journal where I put like my random thoughts, I got a journal where I write down my dreams, um, like my literal dreams, like when I'm asleep, because <clears throat> I'm a I'm a dreamer, like in every sense of the word, I am a dreamer. I live, I have a dream almost every night. Um, and anyway, so she sent me this, and this is why you have good people in your corner. Can I just brag on my friend real quick? So um, she literally was like, "Girl, how can I be of service to you?" you know, during this process of planning your wedding. She has taken over the um, bridesmaids um, bags, like gift bags that I wanted to do. She took them over. The only thing that I have is the makeup to put in there. That's because I, I had already bought the makeup because that's where I started. Because y'all know that's what your girl likes. And, um, but everything else, all the toiletries, tissues, um, uh, everything, the little note cards, a pen, everything, the list of things I told, I gave her, the things that I wanted in the bag, she got all of them for me. Not only that, a lot of the decor, like the candles, the votive, the votives, votives, whatever, um, a lot of the, the, the signs, my gift, my card jar, excuse me, she got a lot of those things um, for me. And basically, she was just like, send me a list of what you need, and I'll do the best that I can. And she okay way more than i could have ever expected anyway so she sent me the journal and as customary she um and then she wrote a little note not a little note it's a lot of note in this first page here and y'all as i started to read it my voice started quivering like this and y'all know when my voice started quivering mm. so yes it is the cutest journal and it says private on it. I love the flowers. Uh, I just, such a beautiful and thoughtful gift. I tell y'all, be careful who you keep in your corner, man. You gotta keep people who are genuinely happy for you and who will genuinely um, support you and genuinely want you to be the best, ooh, the best you that you can be. Okay, there's so much foolishness in this world. You don't want to have to worry about being backstabbed by the ones who are closest to you. I know a lot of people deal with like jealousy in this point part of a lot of women deal with jealousy at this point of their life because, you know, either someone else wishes that they were in your position, but I can honestly say I have not dealt with that. I have not dealt with that. Every First of all, most of my brides, no, that's not true. I was gonna say most of my bridesmaids are married, but about half of them are married already. Um, and the other ones couldn't be more supportive. So I, I just, I love that. And I thank you guys too, because I know a lot of my journey has been, you know, I, I was so proud of my singleness. You know what I'm saying? I, that was almost a part of my identity, which I'm, it's, it's weird to say this. Y'all don't judge me. I feel like y'all about to judge me. Don't judge me. But it's part of my identity that it's actually difficult for me to let go because so long I identified as like a strong, independent, uh, single woman that loves love and is looking forward to mar marriage, but is owning and 
content in her singleness and that was me anyone knows who knows me knows that that's me so it's weird sort of pulling away from that and entering a new phase of my life so i thank you guys for continuing to be on this journey with me and i hope that somehow you guys see and learn and i hope to be very as transparent as I can through this process so you guys can see sort of what I've gone through some of the hardships that I've gone through because there has been a lot of that in this process as well um but I, I thank you guys for you know I've received nothing but love is what I'm trying to say from you guys and I appreciate that as things will change and as people are being added <laughs> to the vlogs and to my life I thank you guys for allowing this channel to grow all right, I'm going to go because I actually came back from Whole Foods. So I have all these things here that I'm about to unpack and then I'm going to meal prep for the week. So I got my bonnet on so I can do some cooking. What's up, guys? <laughs> it is Friday, March 15th right now. Your girl is feeling um, very tired. So a few things have happened. Last weekend... Um, a new video went up. You guys probably saw it. So it'll probably be only a week between these two vlogs if I can help it. If not, y'all gonna see it a week late and that's all right, okay? Um, in the meantime, last weekend I spent the weekend with, um, uh, Josh and his mom. <clears throat> and, uh, I bought a car. Um... And I explained to you guys in a previous vlog that your girl's been without a car car for, it, I don't know if I told you guys how long it's been, but it's been a long time. So, um, just, you know, the kind of stress about, you know, having a car to use to get done, you know, little, little errands and stuff like that. Um, at a point I was driving, uh, mostly using my dad's car and then I started to use my mom's truck and that big thing like drinks up gas and um of course if i'm using it i have to put gas in it so uh, it yeah yeah y'all and then you have to make sure that other people have cars when they're ready to go out you know what i mean and kind of coordinating that when i'm going to work um you know making sure that my dad has a car here so that when he goes to his appointments and Man, it kind of all worked out at the right time because once my dad got his, um, basically, basically, it all worked out at the right time. Me getting the car, that was like one of my biggest stressors. Um, my dad was working from home, but now that he has a security clearance, he goes to work. Um, or goes into the office most days, so it would have been a nightmare trying to co coordinate with him getting to work and then me trying to get to you know work so um i'm glad i was able to make it happen and um but you know i'm planning for a wedding and that's a, an expense that i was really hoping not to have anyway this weekend i'm gonna be heading out to delaware joshua is coming because he is preaching in delaware Excuse me y'all. He's preaching in Delaware tomorrow. Going out there with him to support him and uh, it should be a good weekend. Um, Sunday is supposed to be like our, uh, I was gonna say date night, but more like date day. So, yeah y'all. <laughs> Yep. Oh, cool. How did you get to this? 
because they are, it's free tickets, but you have to wake up at 6.30 and literally reserve it at 6.30 when they open up same day tickets because you can't get them in advance. So, yeah. woke up at 6.30 and I had to scroll through the times because they have timed entries, times where we can go in. That's where we're going. Professional at the museum, guys, right now. Oh, I look good. Okay. All right, wait. Okay. All right. You want me to turn off? I, just, I mean, if you say it's, it's, it's cool, it's cool, then. I mean, my life is my life. It is what it is. I wonder if there's a way for me to hold it up here. Oops, look at that. Okay. Go put it in the middle? Or in the, oh, like it's okay where it is. It's not going to stay. Like, I'm using this as leverage for the. Oh, okay, gotcha. Right. Not to. Take a moment to orient yourself to the camera. Okay. Where is it? When you're ready, choose a question you'd like to respond to. Press record to begin. You will have two minutes to reflect on your selected question. You'll know that you are recording when you see these arrows flashing on both screens. You can end the recording session at any time by pressing the stop button. If you'd like, you can re-record your reflection once per session. After you review your video, you can choose to keep your response oh, and share so this cool. reflection with the museum. If you give permission, your answers may be shown in an exhibition or appear on the museum's website. Means we gotta make this good, babe. Hi, my name is Patricia and um, the exhibition that was the most memorable to me was the Emmett Till um, Memorial um, where we got to see his casket. Put your hands together. Yeah. Happy Friday y'all. It's Friday. Yes, I believe it's the, yes, it's the 22nd. Your girl just came back from work not too long ago. And, um, y'all, I'm tired. I've been doing this thing where I, um, I just haven't been prioritizing sleep, y'all. And it's just, it's seriously a thing. Um, the way my work schedule is set up, um, a lot of times if I don't have time to do anything else, like I work at night, I'm supposed to sleep during the day, but during the day is when everything is open. So... It's either get what I need to get done or sleep. And a lot of times it's, it's get what I need to get done. You know, planning a wedding. So a lot of the meetings and the phone calls and the phone conferences that, like if Joshua and I have to be on the same call, has to happen during the day. And so anyway, I had to run a quick errand. I worked last night. And um, so right now it's 11 in the morning. On a good day, I try to be in bed by 9.30. So I'm tired. And what's what's been happening? Oh, what the? Fuck? Consequently, what's been happening is when I actually do get to sleep, I'm so knocked out. If I have to get up and actually go to work the same night, then I can't. I'm only getting like th sometimes two, sometimes three, if I'm lucky, four hours of sleep. Y'all, I've been sleeping so hard that I will literally fall asleep on my limbs. My limbs, my limbs will go numb and it will not wake me up to the point where... Like right now, I'm sore, not from working out, not for why I am sore from, um, <laughs> my legs are sore from work. Cause I, I literally, when I tell you the last past few days have been so busy, literally yesterday, last night I didn't get a break or the night before last, I didn't get a break. Last night I met, th this past night, I managed to get a break, but I've literally been sleeping on my limbs, particularly my arms. Cause I'm one to like, 
you know, get comfortable and snuggle and like, you know, like hug myself or I will put my hands under my pillow and I will literally fall asleep in that position and the next day I'll be sore. Like right now, all in here and up here is sore because I'm so beat that when I sleep, I'm literally knocked out cold to the point where I can't even wake up enough, even if I'm uncomfortable, like I'm not even aware that I'm uncomfortable. It's a hot mess, y'all. Anyway, um, I'm going to do better. I was talking to um, my girl, Evelyn. You may know her as Chef Evelyn online. I was talking to her yes yesterday. I was half asleep when I was talking to her too. I sure was. But yesterday, I think it was yesterday I spoke to her and I told her I'm not doing, I'm not doing well in that department. I, I just need, I need to sleep more. And I just have not been doing that. But what a week is a, it has been last weekend being in Delaware coming back to Maryland and then having that awesome weekend um or that awesome Sunday with Josh at the um African American Museum in DC and then I had a crazy work week I can't tell you the amount of meetings and uh, that I've had trying to get this wedding together and still trying to maintain my business Ugh, yeah it's been a thing, but God is good. He's keeping me. He's sustaining me. Where is my tea? I'm about to sip on my tea. I'm about to sip on my tea, y'all. I try to have tea every morning when I come home. It helps to relax me. So let's do that. Cheers, y'all. My little mug right here it says boss lady. Yes. Yeah, y'all, I'm trying to, all right, try to have a cup of tea every morning. Let me share with you guys before I go real quick about the lesson that I'm learning. And um, I'm just passing it on to you because y'all know how I do. Don't be too quick to react. Don't be too quick. Let me tell you something. This is a lesson that your girl is learning. Y'all like my big old bonnet? This is perfect for like if you have like braids or locks um, and you want to fit all your hair in um, your bonnet. But anyway, don't be so quick to react. Um, I'm not one to like go off like loud. Um, I have a mix of my mom and dad's temperament. I think I lean toward my dad. What's crazy is I think internally I am my mother, but because my father's, I have my father's demeanor, it will never actually come out. It takes a lot to get me to act out of character. Even, even if I'm gonna tell you off, I'm gonna tell you off in on this level, in this tone of voice. My words are gonna be sharp. They're gonna be strong, but I try to buffer them with love as much as I can, unless I'm really mad and I'm unable to do that. But usually, I'm right here. No one's, no one's gonna get me out of here unless I'm coming in defense of someone else or you have got me so riled up I've had people tell me like, um, oh, I, oh, I wouldn't want to see you uh, upset. And I'm just like, chances are you really just won't because people who've known me for years and don't have that testimony of me. But um, even more so, I'm learning. Um, don't be quick to react. Sometimes it really is better to listen and listening and by observing you learn and um, and you also truly understand. You truly understand. You give things a chance to work its course naturally. And I think a lot of the times you're satisfied with the, the end result. Um, don't let people like take you out of character. Um, to me, that's not strength. A lot of the times we like to glorify. I told her I did it. I did it. And I said all of this. A lot of times we like to glorify that. But it takes even more strength sometimes to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Try it, y'all. <laughs> Try it. You will see. You don't want to keep your mouth shut when, you know, you you know some bad abuse whatever we're not talking about that but we're talking to, i'm talking about in dealing with people and in dealing with other people sometimes when you're quiet you'll learn that all that is actually not strength what you're seeing from this whoever this person is 
um, is not strength, it's actually insecurity. And sometimes when, and then when you have that understanding, you treat that person different. You don't get offended by what they say or what they do because you truly, you truly understand what's really going on. You see, the, you see them past the noise and you see what's actually going on with the person because her people, her people, y'all. Nobody's perfect. Um, nobody's perfect. That's for sure. We all been somewhere, came from somewhere, and hopefully headed in a better direction. Um, so sometimes you gotta ignore the noise. Don't be so quick to react. And your eyes will be open to see certain things um, that you wouldn't have otherwise seen. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to go. It's time to go to bed. It's knocking on noon now. I've been up how many hours straight? I don't even want to start counting because the moment I start counting, I get depressed, y'all. I get depressed. Anyway, about to wipe this makeup off, jump in the shower, sip on this tea, and go to bed, y'all. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever this video is meeting you. And I'll see you guys soon in another vlog. I love you.